Right. Welcome back, boys and girls, to the madcenter.com. Uh, I've been having a series of uh, videos uh, almost every week, teaching various subjects, accounting, uh, maths, and maths, okay? So in this particular short video, I would like to take a look at this question. This is a seven marks question. And this is from the IGCSE accounting, the Edexel Pearson board. The exam code is 4AC1-01, and the exam was held on 10 of May, 2019. Okay, uh, guys, boys and girls, I forgot. I always forget when I'm doing this video. <laughs> please, I have to be reminded by my administrator. Okay, please do uh, follow us on Facebook and YouTube. Uh, and check out our website, themedcenter.com, www.themedcenter.com. We are a subscription-based online learning site offering a lots of exam-focused courses. Seriously, exam-focused and with amazing content. Okay, your subscription helps us to stay alive, okay, uh, and to be able to build more and more courses. So check us out. We have plenty of maths, courses, physics, accounting uh, for different exams like IGCSE, A-levels, uh, IB mats, okay? Further mats, we have further mats, the entire further mats uh, in video. Okay, check us out. So now let's continue. Um, thank you very much. Uh, thank you very much. I hate for your uh, likes, people. It helps us. So now in this exam question, okay, you can see the uh, the exam question, I think, uh, appended below, okay? But here I wrote the important numbers here. And this is question number 15B in this exam paper. It says, as at 1st of June, we have the balance in the TRLC stands for Trade Receivables Ledger Control. Okay. It's also called the Sales Ledger Control Account. They're the same, TRLC, Trade Receivables Ledger Control, or Sales Ledger Control Account. Now, for the year, the whole year of May, uh, for the year ended 31st of May, I, here are the numbers, here are the important salient figures, cash sales, credit sales, irrecoverable debt, payables set off. Payables set off means you have to contra uh, this amount against your TPLC, against your trade payables ledger control or your purchases ledger control. Okay, I'll talk about that, uh, you know, in a little while. Then there are receipts from your credit customers. This will enter your bank, whether it's in bank whether it enters your bank or in cash form. There's return inwards, which means sales returns. Okay? Return inwards is the same as sales return. This question for seven marks, they ask you, show us the trade receivables ledger control for the year ended the 1st of May, 2018. So, okay, now people, okay, excuse the shaky lines. So I will call it trade receivables. Ledger control. Okay, I, I repeat. In another exam, they also call it by this by this name, sales ledger control account. Same meaning, same name. Okay. So what do we do now? I I do a, I do a very quick reminder. This trade receivers ledger control. Yes, it's a bit of a mouthful. It's actually a summary of all your individual credit customers in your sales ledger. Remember, a uh, ledger is split into two ways, the subsidiary ledger and the general ledger. Subsidiary ledger consists of the sales ledger and the purchases ledger. In your sales ledger, all your individual accounts for all your, every credit customer of yours has a T account, an individual account kept there. So this TRLC here is just a summary of uh, all the movements of all the uh, transactions that you will find in your sales ledger. Okay, let's begin. So now, this is actually, uh, basically, if you have 100 uh, trade customers, trade receivable customers in your sales ledger, this TR, the TRLC here will summarize the total uh, uh, as if it's just a summary account of all your total 1,000 customers, okay? So now, we start with a balance. The opening balance here, the debit balance, okay, is here. There's a balance brought down. 65450. Okay. This is the this 65450 represents the total of balances owing by that, let's say the 1000 customers of ours as seen in the sales ledger on May the sorry on 1st of June. 
This will be on June the 1st, on 2017. Now, during the year, we are told that there is cash sales. Cash sales you will ignore. Why? Cash sales has nothing to do with your credit customers. Cash sales, the double entry is merely credit sales and debit cash. So ignore that. And now credit sales, yes. Credit sales will have to be taken up the whole entire year. Your total sales to your credit customers is 255895. The double entry will have been credit sales and debit your trade receivables. Hence, it comes here, 255895. Okay. Now, irrecoverable debt, what is that? If recover, that means we from this amount owing, we are going to write off for good 11,500 as an irrecoverable debt or a bad debt, which is an expense and it goes to your income statement. Okay, irrecoverable debt. Okay, you can write here irrecoverable debt. That's fine. Which will go to your income statement is an expense. This goes in. Now, payable set off. Payable set off means uh, you have. A customer who also is your supplier, okay? It's, uh, I, I tell my students a very simple example is like this. Let's say I'm a supplier. I owe a customer $100. The customer owes me $1,000. So when it's time for him to pay me, he won't, it'll be, it'll be quite tedious to like, for me to open a check for 100 and then he pays me $1,000. i will just call him or contact him and say, look, just set it off. The 100 that I owe you, pay me 900 that's kind of what a contra is or set off. So to do a set off, you always remember this. You're going to set off 7895. All you do is always do this, contra. You can write here contra or you, or you can write set off. Okay? 7895. Where does the other entry go? You always credit. Remember for contra, you always credit your TRLC and you debit your TPLC. Just remember this, okay? Always credit your uh, sales ledger control and debit your purchases ledger control. Well, all control is set off. So receipt from credit customers, this is good. That means money is in our bank. So we debit our bank and we can credit here and write here bank book or bank 228955, okay? Some books will call it bank book. Some will just call it bank. To me, bank is good enough. Now return inwards. When you have sales, right, you'll be credit, right? Sales is always a credit figure. Sales return will be a reverse, will be a debit. So sales return means goods are returning inwards. And this, uh, this customer is, some customer here is uh, returning goods outwards. Hence, it should be here. Sales return, or you can call it return inwards, four, five, six, seven. Okay. Cool. So now, if you have done it correctly, you can play this video again uh, to listen to my comments. Now, how do we balance it out? You can see here your debit side, 65450 plus 255895 comes up to 321345, which is bigger than the right-hand side. But still, I must write in this total, 321345. And so I put in the balancing figure, which is 321345, Minus these four figures, minus the irrecoverable debt, the contra, the payments received in the bank, the sales returns, and that will give me a balance carried down. Remember this balance carried down, people, 68428. This is not a credit balance, for God forbid. This is actually a debit balance because when you bring it down to the next month, you have balance brought down 68248. And this would be on July the 1st. So July the 1st, you're saying that in your books, in our books, the total amounts due from all the trade customers to us come up to 68248. And this 68248, you should by right compare it with the total, the total as seen in your sales ledger. If that figure and this figure agrees, well done. Okay, the double entry in both are upkept. Okay. So people, I hope you have learned this. Uh, you've learned something here. This, this is a seven marks question. This question appeared in the accounting paper of Edexcel, 4AC1, stroke 01, paper one, okay? This appeared as question 15B, all right? I'll see you soon in the next video. Meanwhile, have a good day, all right? I'll see you soon. Stay safe, bye-bye.